Let me start. Uh, I was born and raised in Dalton, Georgia, Northwest Georgia. I went to uh, high school at North Whitfield High School, which is actually nowhere. It's it's not in non existent now. They consolidated it, and it's now Northwest Whitfield. So I graduated from there in 1964. I uh, worked for a short time. I ended up going to McKenzie College, which was in Chattanooga, a business college, and. Uh, I attended there one year, got my certificate, and guess what? Three months later, I was in the infantry, headed to Fort Riley, Kansas. So, that was in 1966. Uh, I went to Fort Riley. They uh, reactivated the 9th Infantry Division then, and uh, they had guys coming from all over the, all over the country, so we were drafted and uh, went to Vietnam. I was from the class of 67 in Vietnam, and. Uh, I was in the infantry there for six months uh, and transferred over to a 1st Aviation Brigade, which was a 240th hel uh, assault helicopter company. And uh, after that, I came back, uh, met my wife, uh, we were married, I went back to college, got my degree and worked uh, for J&J &J Industries in Dalton in carpet sales. and. Uh, Spent 35 years there, just retired about four or five years ago and was an avid golfer and uh, developed Parkinson's disease and my golfing career stopped and I'd always fished some. Uh, my son got me interested again in fly fishing and hunting and from that we developed, uh, uh, well actually he's my best friend and uh, we've, uh, we, we love to fish together and uh, uh, he ties the flies for me now, and I lose them. So as a result, he's developed, uh, he puts together some fly rods, and uh, I do some fly tying benches and at his, uh, from his design. He tells me how to do them because I don't know how to build uh, or make the flies, so he kind of gives me instruction on what he needs and how to put the benches together. So with that, We'll show you uh, some of the details as to the bench and the reasons for them and so forth. And this is pretty much the standard model. Uh, they've, they've actually kind of evolved into this. I personally do not tie. And uh, my son does, and he enjoys it. It's a hobby for him. And actually what he has done, he's given me some advice on, on how, uh, the, the, just the uh, uh, elementary portions of it as to what you would really need to uh, 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 perform tying flies. So what I wanted to do with the bench is actually make something that's attractive, but more so functional. I think it's, it's terrible to have something in your house that's beautiful and uh, good to look at and, and afraid to use it. So this is the design that we've come up with. This is the standard design. And actually you'll see right here, we've got an area uh, for tools. Uh, we've got an area, we've got the spindles here for your thread and uh, I attached a metal strip here to uh, uh, hold your flies. Once you've tied those, uh, it gives them an opportunity to, uh, to dry. Uh, some additional holes over here for the tools. And actually a little tool caddy, this is something we came up with. Uh, you can uh, put beads and, so, and hooks and so forth in there. Another little area to hold tools another bead area. Uh, actually you can you would attach your vise uh, either side left or right and a little area here to uh, hold the beads once you start tying or materials and so forth. And actually this is something my wife just came up with. I had to give Kenny an extra two or three of these this morning because this is something we just added to it. But this is a, a little uh, trash bag for you to uh, shove your trash off in and little silk uh, lining there to, so your threads and your trash doesn't get uh, hung up in the uh, as you're trying to dump it out. So like I said, it's, 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 it's not only is it uh, attractive, uh, some of them I do out of pine, some of them I do out of oak. Uh, like I said, this is going to be my standard. I have actually each, each design, each, each uh, uh, each desk was pretty much different to a certain degree and that's when my son told me, he said, Dad, you need to start making them all the same. So anyway, this is kind of what we've come up with. Some are pine, some are oak, and, and some I've actually put some drawers and 
some compartments down in here. So uh, it, it's evolved. The design keep, continues to change, hopefully trying to make it better each time that I build one. Absolutely. We, uh, we've been doing these. The Goodwill Guides, they're, they're tying. And uh, Kenny has been gracious enough to work with me. And I guess we've made probably three or four for him and his guys. And uh, I, I really enjoy working with those fellas. Uh, actually, one of them is one of my closest friends now. He's been wounded. Told me he's been wounded five times, and the man just keeps going. So uh, I'm, I'm excited working with him and Goodwill Guides and doing all that we can. We actually do a little, uh, do a little, uh, uh, what am I? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wish I had landed all the ones I hooked, because <laughs> there are some, uh, you can call them pigs, you can call them toads, you can call them hogs. There's some big fish here, and I can tell you without a doubt, Kenny is one of the most gracious guys I've met. He's, uh, you know, the, the thing about it is a lot of people have knowledge, and they don't want to share it. Uh, Kenny's one of those guys that has the knowledge and you don't have to ask him to share it. He'll share it with you anyway, which is just great. Yeah, as I said, I was a Vietnam veteran and things have changed a great deal today from what they were when we came back. We get a lot more respect today than we did then, uh, which uh, I'm, gl I'm glad to see that because I lost a lot of good friends there. Uh, it's just been, it's been a great experience. I love working with these guys and and uh, actually I learn more from them than they do from me. But as a result of that, I will show you one thing that I do when I usually see a Vietnam, Vietnam vet, is that I do a keychain for them. And uh, I welcome them home, so. Oh, all right. Actually, I think I've got one in my pocket. There we go. That's just a little souvenir of welcoming them home and, and, uh, and uh, Tell them we appreciate the, them uh, the, the service that they did. Okay, we uh, last year uh, or at the last tournament, actually we we gave one of these away as a door prize. Uh, we wanted to help the vets, uh, the, the, the 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 wounded uh, that are doing the uh, the guide services, and uh, we would actually like to see one of them get one of these, each one of them, and you can help actually by uh, donating to the Goodwill Guides or. Uh, actually promoting them uh, within your organization. They're just a great bunch of guys. Uh, you know, f the thing about it is freedom is not free. And these guys have, have, have done their duty. Uh, I will tell you this, everyone is not a hero. Uh, but in my book, these guys that have come back from the Middle East, in my book, are heroes. And you can help them by uh, giving to the uh, Goodwill Guides and supporting them.